26th of March, Kuik, Blues Alive. And next to me is Eddie, the Chief Clearwater, all the way from Chicago, as we call it. And um, Mr. Clearwater, you have uh, probably half an hour before, before you go on stage. Is there any nervousness in you? Mm, not really. I just get a little bit, ten a little tension, but I just want to make sure everything goes right. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get up there and do the best I can do and <laughs> hope, it, hope it turns out right. Yeah. Well, somebody with an experience you have, with, with, with all the experience you have on the stage and live and um, playing in, all, in, in Chicago with all the blues guys, is there anything that make, can make you nervous? Uh, hardly. Uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, sometimes you can be a, a little uncertain, but it's not too good to be too sure of yourself because that could be a bad thing, you know. But the most part, I believe I can pull it off once I... Uh, get past the first song, I should be going with it, yes. Well, um, if people are going to see you next, uh, uh, half later on the stage, you'll be recognizable on a big Indian headpiece, and that is because the, one of your grandfathers is uh, an Indian, of Indian origin. Yes, uh, Cherokee uh, from the south, Mississippi. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather both were Cherokee, so I... Uh, guess, uh, you keep that in uh, Heritage Alive on stage? Absolutely, yeah. The blues. Can you remember uh, when it was that the blues had uh, catched your attention? That you th thought that's the music I want to play. You know, at a very, very early age, I, I, I always knew there was something about blues that was very attractive to me, and I, I just knew. I said, when I grow up. I want to I wanna play this music, you know, because I used to listen to people like Lightning Hopkins, uh, John Lee Hooker, and later on Muddy Waters, and then a little later on B.B. King. So I said, hey, this is the music that sticks to my soul. And I said, well, I, I want to I play this music, you know. What was your education in the blues? How did you learn? By uh, just playing a lot? or I listened to people, listen to different people. Uh, by re on record, listen to people like uh, uh, Louis Jordan and John Lee Hooker, like I said, and then Lightning Hopkins. I used to hear them on record. And uh, later, when I moved to Chicago, that's when I got to meet people like Muddy Waters and uh, Howlin' Wolf, Jimmy Reed, and Elmo James. So I would every night I would go out and listen to someone at the Live Blues Club in Chicago. This was during the early 50s and uh, early and late in late 50s. Yeah. What what could you learn about a Muddy Waters? Well, just the sound of it and his mannerism on stage, and the sound of the blues itself. You know, at that time he had Little Walter on harmonica, and it was just a great experience to sit there and just listen to him. You know, I got religion. I got blues religion just by hearing these people. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's one with one by the late great. You mean, I don't know if you've heard of Muddy Waters or not, but this is by, by Muddy Waters. You ever hear of Muddy Waters? Hey! Y'all heard of Muddy Waters, man. Come on. Come on, you just say yes! That's better. Thank you. Here's one of the songs I've recorded on my album. It's called, I just want to make love to you, baby. Yeah! Masters are slowly fading away. Uh, what what can you do to keep the torch of the blues alive? Well, we're gonna try and keep uh, bringing some of the younger people in to play the blues because that's gonna be the future of the blues. The younger people doing it. And there are a few young people around that that are doing it. And so hopefully they will stick to it, just like Muddy and Wolf did when they were starting out. And Buddy Guy, Buddy Guy, same way. We all, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang in there with it. People like myself, Ronnie Baker Brooks, and, uh, and the younger people as well. We're just uh, gonna try and continue. Like the blues is like Old Man River. It's just gonna go on and on. You may not notice it from time to time, but it's gonna always be there somehow or another, in some form or another. And I intend to make sure that happens to the best of my ability. 
Now in Holland, the Juke Joints are um, is your band you're playing with on stage, and you did it before last year, a couple of years ago. You did it on uh, the Highlands Festival because they're not strangers to you. How was working with them as a band? They're very fun guys to work with. Very dedicated to what they're doing. It's a very it's a big pleasure to work with these guys because they are really on top of their game. They uh, they take it serious, and that's what I like about them. You know, plus they're wonderful people to be around. If you make a set list for a gig like tonight, how you go along in that one? What, how do you know which song to play? Well, we have a set list that we work from, but from time to time I'll throw in songs that we haven't rehearsed, that we haven't done. So I don't just stick right to the uh, set list, because the new ideas, a new song will come in my head. And I'll turn around and say, let's do this one, just like I said to uh, Sonny Boy, the harp player. I said, I got an idea, let's do Hoochie Coochie Man tonight, you know. So he said, okay, <laughs> so we're going to do it. Like, uh, I hadn't done it on this tour, I said, I'm doing that one that I haven't done on the tour. Hey, tonight is um, Benny Veltman uh, joining you on the uh, organ. Uh, yeah. How do, what do you expect of an extra organ piece on the stage? Yeah, well, he, uh, he played with us last night, and uh, so uh, he's doing some fine work, very, very good, yeah. I'm looking forward to it again tonight. Yes. The show element uh, with your performances. The show, the the show yeah. yeah. That's what's important. See, I like to give the people more than just music, some music. I like to give them some energy because that's what I feed off, the energy of the people. So I like to give that energy back to the people. So uh, I never know what to expect of myself from time to time on stage, you know. <laughs> Whatever comes up, it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to watch it and we're going to hope to enjoy to see if we're going to enjoy your show. Well, thank you very much. And we hope you enjoy it yourself too. Oh, yeah. He had nothing but a good time. We're going to do it again tonight. Yeah. <laughs>